own life. Okay. Hey kids, do let me know. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Just let me know. Hey, how is everyone? Namaskaram, Vanakam, very good morning, kids. So we are going to start with this awesome session of IUPAC. But first of all, everyone, just do let me know in the chat section. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Am I perfectly audible and visible to all of you kids? Yes, I'm waiting for your green signal in the chat section. So really, the functional groups, IUPSC, we are going to start with IUPSC of functional groups. This is really the awesome session and we are going to start with questions. Or you can take it like a mock test. Mock test means I will give you the question and you're supposed to give me the answer of those questions and let us check it out whether your answers are going to be right or incorrect. But first of all, show me thumbs up in the chat section that everyone can hear me, can see me, and really it is going to be the awesome session. Kids, do let me know by showing the sign of thumbs up if I am perfectly audible and visible to all of you. Now see, kids, this is a brief introduction of myself. Harin Singh Parihar, you can call me HSP, your HSP, Baba HSP. I did MTech in 2004, and before that, I was gold medalist in MSc 1999, GRF and GATE qualified. I have been teaching for last 23 plus years. I have produced number of top 10 ranks along with mass selection, number of ranks in both NEET and IATJ. So kids, let's start. There, I can see the Josh. Really good, really good, really awesome. I can see everyone is able to see me, hear me. I'm perfectly audible and visible to all of you. So without taking too much time, let's start. But before that, if you're new to this channel, do subscribe, and if you are our old students, hit the like buttons. I can see number of students are present over here. They are full of josh. They are full of energy. But why? Why the likes are so less? Everyone, I want to see that everyone, these likes should reach up to at least 75. Yes, kids, do it right now. I want to see the Josh. How's the Josh, kids? Just hit the like button, everyone. Go, cool, sir. Give the correct answer of the homework questions, sir, please. So, the questions which I have given to you, definitely I will provide answers in that chat section only. Okay. Now, Today I'm going to start Google TVG. Yes, definitely you will get the correct answers, but in that section only where I have asked the question, right? So, are you PAC of functional group? Kids, you remember the first lecture which I took on that day, there I have given you the, you can say trick or mnemonic for priority order of functional groups. Do you remember? So if you remember that trick or the song for the priority of functional groups, then definitely you are going to get the correct answer. Here is your first question. Try to find out the answer of this question. Kids, I'm waiting. Mm. Sir, is this for Avenger? I will let you know about Avenger Batch and all. First of all, try to find out the correct answer of this question, kids. Structure of the compound whose IUPAC name is given. IUPAC name, let me write down in bigger font. Three, it's given as, it given as three ethyl, 
फोर मिथाइल हेक्सट्रीन थ्री एन फाइव आइन ओ सो लेंदी फाइव आइन ओइक एसिड oic acid so this i have written in bigger font for you people now let me know what's the correct answer i want to see how many of you are able to do it correctly kids fast very fast vijay 2 vijay is writing 2 rest of others i want to see what's the correct answer see to it how to do it kids how to do this question see to it first of all just focus on the word root hex tree in that means the word root the parent chain should have six carbons so see where the parent chain is having six carbons 1 2 3 4 5 4 for oh it's wrong numbering it's wrong numbering because we have to select the main group we have to select the main group 1 2 3 4 5 6 six carbons in the parent chain you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is also having six carbons in the parent chain kids now 1 2 3 4 5 6 oh my god this is also having six carbons 1 2 3 4 5 6 oh kids all the compounds are having six carbons in the parent chain so which one is going now see they are writing two hydroxy two hydroxy this is going to be the going to give the correct answer c to it two hydroxy where is two hydroxy there is three hydroxy can't be the answer here is two hydroxy two hydroxy and this can't be the answer first and fourth can't be the correct answer are you getting my point first and fourth can't be the correct answer kids now try to find out it is having two hydroxy this is having two hydroxy four methyl and three ethyl at third position we are supposed to get ethyl see 1 2 3 we haven't got ethyl 1 2 3 we have got ethyl so this is going to be the correct answer 1 2 3 we haven't got so second is going to be the correct answer those who have got second as the answer do let me know in the chat section if your if your answer is really correct then show me thumbs up if your answer is wrong thumbs down do let me know kids do let me know see this is having 1 2 3 4 5 6 it is having secondary suffix plus maximum number of multiple bonds it is having secondary suffix this structure is having secondary suffix secondary suffix with maximum number of with maximum number of multiple bonds maximum number of multiple bonds kids so how many of you are able to understand it if it is clear to all of you let me know yes i can see most of the students they are able to understand now we are going towards another question see This question has been asked in 1995 and 2001. So definitely this question is going to be the really most important question. So everyone the IUPAC name of the compound having formula this CCl3. Let me draw it. C Cl 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 CCl3 CH2 CH2 and CH double bond no so they have given this structure now they are asking what is the correct iupac name of this compound fast otherwise i am going to tell you the answer everyone find out the answer find out the answer be quick quick quickly find out the answer and then i will let you know what is the correct answer 
before i am going to tell you the correct answer everyone do let me know what's your answer yes i am waiting for your answer kids i am waiting for your answer so see we will do the numbering from here one this is the main functional group senior most functional group so this is going to act as secondary suffix because this is the main functional group kids this is the main functional group so we have to do the numbering from this because while doing the numbering while doing the numbering kids what we are supposed to do secondary suffix then multiple bond and then prefix this already i told you in the first lecture always follow this rule preference order is like this now 1 2 Three. So these three are prefixes. What I am supposed to write, kids? I have to write one, one, two, three, three, comma, three, comma, three, then dash, trichloro, and this is propanol, 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 propanol. One, 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 trichloro, propanol. So everyone. C, three, three, or one, one. It can't be one, one. This is wrong. Two, two is wrong. One, two, three is wrong. So I can see everyone's answer is correct. Really awesome. Really awesome, kids. You are rocking, rocking. C is the correct answer. Wow. Congratulations, those who have got the correct answer. Badhaya, really, lot of congratulations. Now let's see the question number three. Kids, if you're going to get the correct answer, do let me know. Car is moving along with Salman. Very good, Ashwadi. Really, you remember? You do remember each and everything. Now, this is your structure. Let me draw this structure over here also. One, two, three, three huts. One, two, three, three huts. Now, what they have placed? They wrote bromine over here at this position they have written chlorine and here they wrote oh and here they have written methyl they have written methyl now let's see to it this is also methyl this is ch ch who is going to do it first me or you this question is going to be solved by me or you people are going to give the answer to mohana soja ji sipa budhepa ji is writing b let me check it out this is main functional group senior most functional group if i do the numbering from here one two three four it is coming on fourth position if i do the numbering from here one two three so three is less than four four five Six. So what I am supposed to write? One bromo. This is bromo in the alphabetical order. Bromo comes first, then methyl comes later on, then chloro comes after bromo. So first I am supposed to write bromo. First I am supposed to write bromo. Then I am supposed to write chloro. Then at the last I will write methyl bromo. Position of bromo is one, one bromo. So what's your answer, kids? What's your answer, everyone? Do let me know. Second, everyone is saying second. One bromo, five chloro, four methyl, hexane, three all. Correct answer. Really, this answer is going to be the absolutely correct. First, the prefix. This I have told you. P P plus P plus word root plus primary suffix, then secondary suffix. In this. The primary suffix is missing, not present. So this is the way of writing IUPAC. So let me check it out. Your answer is absolutely correct. Those who have got the correct answer, show me the thumbs up. Otherwise, whose answer got wrong, you can show me thumbs down. Now another question. See to it. These are cyanides. Even you can write it like this: cyanide, CH2. CH, CN, and CH2, 
Cn. After this, I will let you know the functional group's role, how to find out the IUPAC, and then we will do some more questions. But before that, let me know what's the correct answer of this question. Now, according to new method in 1989, they have adopted new method. What they are going to say? One, two, three. So chemical abstract name they are going to use. We have to use chemical abstract name. This is another thing, very important thing. Chemical abstract in place of secondary suffix, in place of secondary suffix, kids. We will write propane. We will write propane. Its name will be propane. Propane, one, two, three, tricarbonitrile, tricarbonitrile, nitrile, nitrile. So anywhere, propane, one, two, three, tricarbonitrile, this is going to be the correct answer. Second is being the correct answer. Now, kids, see to it. I'm going to tell you the IUPAC of, IUPAC of, Aster. Now let's understand from the very basic IUPAC of asters. See to it, kids. IUPAC of asters. Aster. So how to write aster? Kids, see to it. R C O O R dash. This is being aster. See to it. This is your aster. Now R can be equal to R dash. Or R cannot be equal to R dash, but remember that this R dash can't be equal to hydrogen. If this R dash is going to be hydrogen, it will become acid. So kids, let me tell you the smallest aster, H C double bond O, O CH3. This is your smallest aster, smallest aster kids. Now, how to write down the IUPAC of asters? That is the most important thing. See, kids, first of all, we have to write whatever is present over here, we'll write alkyl. This thing should be written as alkyl. And rest of the portion should be written as alkanoate. Alkanoate. So, this is your methyl, kids. This is your methyl. So I will write its IUPAC name as methyl, methyl, and then I will do the numbering from here, one. This is methanoate, methanoate, kids, is it clear? Let me tell you one more example, then it would, it is going to be more clear. See, kids, if I am going to write down like this, CH3, C double bond O, O, CH3. What will you say? So I've told you how to write alkyl. Which one is going to be alkyl? And then which one is going to be alkanoate? Get C to it, everyone. This is going to be your alkyl. So this is only one carbon. So I will write methyl. Then one. Always do the numbering from this carbon. One, two. I will write two carbons. So put two carbons. I will write ethanoate. Is it clear? Is it clear to all of you? Now suppose if I am having another aster, see to it. If I am having another aster, see to it everyone. CH3, CH2, CH2, C double bond O, O, CH2, 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 and CH3. Kids, now this question is really going to play an important role. Just try to find out how to do the IUPAC name of this compound. Do remember this is having carbonyl group, so we'll write one, two, three, four. So the parent chain, parent chain is of four carbon atoms, four carbon atoms, and this is going to be a prefix one, two, three, four, five, six. So hexyl, 
we will write hexyl and this is 4 butanoate butanoate is it clear to all of you i hope that everyone is able to understand that is butahexyl butanoate now see to it if i am going to give you another compound like this ch3 ch2 ch 2 ch c2h5 c double bond o ch2 c double bond o o ch3 now how to do the iupac naming of this compound everyone see to it first of all we have to write down this whatever it is whatever the alphabetical by its name it's there methyl ethyl propyl irrespective of the alphabetical name we have to write down this thing because this is attached with oxygen means in between carbon and this carbon there is breaking of the chain because we are supposed to count the longest possible chain of continuous carbon atoms but here there is breaking of the chain so first of all we are supposed to write down this now we'll write methyl first of all our work is to write this methyl first of all then try to find out from here this is your carbonyl group one two three four five six seven now see this is your prefix what is the name of prefix kids this prefix is ethyl and this prefix either you can say keto or you can call it oxo either you can say keto or you can say oxo it depends on you whatever you want to write you are free to write see to it now kids methyl now this is ethyl what is the position four four ethyl now three keto and it is seven so we'll write heptanoate heptanoate i hope this is clear to all of you is it clear to each and everyone kids now suppose we are provided with compound like this ch3 ch2 ch2 ch ch double bond ch2 ch2 c double bond o o c 2 h 5 now just try it what should be the iupc name if you can try just try it out now i'm going to tell you the name see to it what should be the parent chain one two three now this is having multiple bonds so four five this is your prefix but before writing this prefix we are supposed to write down this so we'll write ethyl ethyl and 3 propyl 3 propyl then we will write c pent pent 4 n o8 o8 kids i think the ester part is very much clear to all of you Thank you, thank you, Anupji. Thank you, thanks a lot for your words. Really, it means a lot. Kids, everyone, are you able to understand? Do let me know in the chat section that everyone is able to understand. Then I'm going to tell you some more things, the most important thing. But before that, do let me know in the chat section that everyone is able to understand. Now, see, kids, I'm going to deal with aldehyde. Aldehyde. C and focus over here, aldehyde. Do remember, kids, for aldehyde, if I say the secondary suffix is al, al that means alkane plus al. So, what you are supposed to do, delete this E and you will write alkanal, alkanal. Now, for this, prefix is. Prefix is either you can write aldo or you can write formyl, formyl. And the chemical abstract name for it is, chemical abstract name is carbaldehyde, carbaldehyde.
aldehyde it's carba aldehyde now see to it how to utilize it how to find out how to write down the name get c to it if i say the smallest member is hcho hcho we'll write methanol because only one carbon atom is over there methanol if i write ch3 ch double bond o so two carbons we are having i will write ethanol ethanol now suppose if i am provided with ch3 ch2 ch2 ch double bond o what i am going to write kids 1 2 3 4 butanol butanol kids are you able to understand these are the smallest simplest compound but after this i am going to give you some more compound see to it kids if i am going to write like this ch double bond o now ch2 ch2 ch double bond o here also i am having aldehyde group there also i am having aldehyde group see to it kids 1 2 3 4 what i am supposed to write butane butane 14 diol now see to it this e will be there because in between e and a there is consonant consonant so we are not going to delete this e if this compound is simply like this see if this compound is simply like this ch3 ch2 ch2 ch double bond o now see how to write down 1 2 3 4 we will write butane null see butane null now we have to drop this e because the butanes this e is being tail and else this is you can say mouth so we have to delete this we will write butane null simply we have to write butane null so see the difference here is simply butane null and here e is there means if in between one vowel and second vowel consonant is there we will keep the c otherwise we have to delete the c are you able to understand now see to it kids if the question is given like this ch double bond o ch2 ch ch double bond o ch2 ch double bond o now kids what's the problem in this compound the most important thing in this compound is we cannot count all the three cho group in the parent chain we are unable to count all the three cho in the parent chain when we are unable when we are unable to count all the secondary suffix in the parent chain in the parent chain then what we are supposed to do then there is one remedy the name of that remedy is chemical abstract name always use always use chemical abstract name chemical abstract name chemical abstract name now scientist has given the idea for this just count this to be the parent chain this as the parent chain 1 2 3 what we are supposed to write kids we will write propane propane dash 1 comma 2 comma 3 try carbaldehyde try carba aldehyde is it clear to all of you kids now suppose if the compound is not given like this if the compound was simply like this see to it if the compound given simply like this cho ch2 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 ch double bond o see 
What's the difference in between this compound and the previous compound? The previous compound was having 3 CHO. The previous compound was having 3 CHO and we were not able to count all the 3 CHO. But here kids, it is having only 2 CHO and we are able to count these 2 CHO. So we cannot use the chemical abstract name. Do remember, when we are able to count the secondary suffixes, we cannot use chemical abstract name. Now in this compound, we can't use chemical abstract name. If we are using that is going to be wrong. We can't use chemical abstract name. And we are using that, the name will get wrong. Now see, what to write? We'll write pentane. Pentane 1, 5. 1, 5, dial. Now, people, you must be asking whether it is necessary to write 1 and 5. Kids, if 1 and 5 we are not using, then also the name is going to be absolutely correct. See why. The line is starting from 1 and the line is ending at 5. So the starting is also CHO and the end one is also CHO. So whatever the parent chain is there, first carbon will be CHO and the last carbon will be CHO. So we can write pentane diol, diol. And some people used to write pent diol. All the three names are equally correct. All are correct. All are equally correct, equally correct. Kids, all of them, we are equally correct. Now I'm going to tell you the most important thing, the special name of CHO, see to it. But before that, let me tell you one more thing. If this CHO is placed on cyclic compound, see to it. This is really going to be the game changer. If this compound is like this, now kids, if you are giving number one to CHO, you can't be able to count this ring. And if you're counting this ring, you won't be able to write down that. See, what mistake is done by people? Let me tell you common mistake. This is the common mistake. Common mistake. People used to write heptanal. This heptanal is wrong name. This heptanol is absolutely wrong name. Teacher is going to give you zero marks for this. So how to find out the correct name of this compound? Because that is going to be really the awesome name. Now see to it, how to find out, how to write down the correct IUPAC name of this compound. See, just do the numbering of this ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now use chemical abstract name because we are unable to count CHO in the parent chain. So we have to use chemical abstract name. In this compound, we are supposed to use chemical abstract name. Chemical abstract name we have to use and that is going to be cyclohexane, cyclohexane and carbaldehyde, carba aldehyde, carba aldehyde. Now kids, let me tell you the most important thing where definitely you are going to make mistake. See to it. If I give you compound like this, CHO, and if I write over here OH, and if I place double bond at this carbon, if I write ethyl over here, I'm not asking the IUPAC name of this compound. I'm just asking one simple thing. Could you please let me know what is the position of OH? I'm not asking the IUPAC name. Just tell me one thing, simple most thing. What is, what is the position of, what is the position of OH? OH, if I'm doing the numbering, IUPAC numbering, what is the position of OH? A, 
it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. B, it's 1, 2, 2. Only two options I have given to you. Only two options I have given to you. Let me give you one more option. One. Let me give you one more option. Five. So, do let me know. Which answer you are going to get? Kids, I'm waiting for your answer. Everyone's answer. Do let me know in the chat section what answer you are going to give me. Yes, kids, do let me know. Six. Oh, great. Really great. Really, you made my day. Everyone's answer is really going to be that's correct. Fantastic. See, when we are going to do the numbering, we have to find out secondary suffix, after that multiple bond, and at the last prefix. This I have told you, and definitely you are following it. This is our senior most functional group. Senior most functional group. Definitely your answer is correct. So this is going to be secondary suffix. If I do the numbering from this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So double bond is coming at fourth position. But if I am doing the numbering from this side, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6. Double bond is coming at third position. So this is right. And the red one is wrong. That is wrong numbering. This is correct numbering. Absolutely correct, kids. Definitely your answer is going to be correct. Now, how to write down the IUPAC name of this compound? See to it, kids. This was your compound. Now, we will write the prefix name. This numbering, fifth. So we'll write 5-hydroxy. Five, five 5-hydroxy, then, yes, 6, no, 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 it's not 5-hydroxy, it's 5-ethyl, it's 5-ethyl, 5-ethyl, 5-ethyl. Now, kids, the first letter can be capital or it can be small, doesn't matter, but rest of all the letters should be small. 6-hydroxy, 6-hydroxy. And then cyclohex, cyclohex, then three in, three in, because one carboaldehyde, one carboaldehyde, carboaldehyde. I think this name is clear to all of you. Do let me know, kids. Do let me know in the chat section till now. 5-ethyl, 6-hydroxy, cyclohex, 3-in, 1-al, 1-al, no, 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 1-al is wrong. Ajit Starkji, 1-al is wrong. You can't write 1-al, that is wrong. 1-carbidehyde, focus over here, kids. It should be carbidehyde, you can't write al. Al is going to be wrong, kids. Al will be wrong, al is wrong. Kids, we have to use chemical abstract name. Are you able to find out what I'm saying? You cannot write al at this condition because we are unable to count CHO in the parent chain. We haven't count this CHO in the parent chain. So we have to write carbidehyde. This point is clear to all of you. Everyone, are you able to get my uh, what I'm telling you kids? Do let me know. Everyone, okay, now see, I'm going to tell you the special name for aldehyde. Special name for aldehyde. Special name for aldehyde. See to it, everyone. Special name for aldehyde. That is special name is oxo. Oxo generally is used for ketonic functional group. This oxo generally is used for ketone. But what I am saying, for aldehyde, oxo is used in some special conditions. Some special conditions. Special conditions. 
Now, what are those special conditions? C to it. If I'm having compound like this, COOH, COOH, CH2, C, double bond OH. Now, C kits. If I am doing the numbering, I will say 1, I will say 2. Now, this is secondary suffix. And the rule says, if you have counted one secondary suffix, carbon, then you are not supposed to count another functional groups carbon. You are not supposed to count another functional groups carbon, but in this special name, just to increase the numbering, just to count more number of carbon atoms in the parent chain, just to count, just to count more number of carbons in the parent chain, in the parent chain. We are going to count this also in the parent chain. Now this much is the parent chain. Now so what is left, this much only left and we will say it to be oxo. So what is the name? What name we have to write? We have to write 3 oxo, we have to write 3 oxo and propanoic acid, propanoic acid. Now kids, if I give you one more compound, I think it's not clear, exactly it's not clear from one example. Let me give you one more example. Suppose the example is right, it's like this, CHO and over here CH. CH2, CH3, CH2, COOH. Now in this, just try to find out whether the special name we have to write or no need to write. Yes, everyone do let me know. Kids, everyone do let me know. Now in this case, are we supposed to write down the special name or we cannot write the special name? So everyone see to it. If I'm doing the numbering from here, one, two, three. If I'm counting this, I will get the parent chain of only four carbons. PC, I will get of four carbons only. Now, if I move toward this side, if I move toward this side, three, four, five. So which one is the longest parent chain, kids? So definitely, this is going to be the longest parent chain. And this is the correct parent chain, kids. This is going to be the correct parent chain. In this case, we are supposed to say this is our parent chain. So special name, we cannot write in this case, this is the correct one. So this is our parent chain, this is our parent chain and definitely that is going to act as prefix. Either I can write down aldo or I can write down formyl. Out of these two, whatever I want to write. I will write down and I have to delete this 4 because we haven't counted it. We cannot count it. So what is the correct IUPC name of this compound? Definitely 3 aldo or formyl, whatever can be given in your exam. 3 aldo or formyl and this is pentanoic acid. Pentanoic acid. Now the question arises. Very important question arises, if the compound is neither of the two is given, a special, one special compound is given like this, see. If the question is given like this, C double bond OH, CH, CH3, CH2, COOH. Now see, 
if I do the numbering like this, one, two, three, four, we are getting four carbons in the parent chain. If I'm doing the numbering like this, one, two, three, four, equal. If I go straight, I'm getting parent chain of four carbon atoms. If I'm going like this, I'm getting parent chain of four carbon atoms, tie. Now what to do? From both the side, if I'm getting parent chain of so same carbon atoms in this condition, do remember kids, if, if, this is the note, always keep in your brain kids, if we are getting two equal parent chain, two equal longest chain, because parent chain can only be one. We are getting two equal longest chain, longest chains, then the one bit maximum number of maximum number of branches maximum number of branches will be the parent chain will be the parent chain kids do let me know this time which one is going to be the correct parent chain kids yes let me know just for a second Now kids, do let me know which one is the correct parent chain. I want to see, I want to understand whether you are getting the same point, what I'm trying to tell you, or you are unable to understand. Do let me know in the chat section. My voice is not clear. Now check it out, everyone. Just for a second, let me check it out. Hello, 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 hello. Everyone do let me know. Am I perfectly audible? Do let me know One kid has written that. Kids, Gopi Ganesh ji, rest of others, do let me know. Can you hear me clearly? Am I clearly audible and visible to all of you? Okay, okay, now clear, okay. Logesh Swaranji, Gopal Krishnanji, welcome, welcome. Now see, if I'm going straight, if I'm going straight, like see, if I'm going straight, if I'm moving like this, if I'm moving like this, I will get the parent chain of how many carbon atoms? Do let me know. If I'm moving like this, I will get the parent chain of four carbon atoms with one alkyl group with one alkyl group and if I'm moving like this, if I'm moving like this, see kids, okay, in the earlier one I haven't got only one prefix, in this I have got one prefix over here and one prefix over here, see, this is also prefix, don't forget about this prefix. If I count this to be the parent chain, I got one prefix over here. Let me rub it. I have got one prefix over here and one prefix over here. In this, I'm getting two prefixes. Two prefixes. Two substituent or I can say two prefixes. Can you see? This is your parent chain. One prefix is over here, that is the prefix, substituent or side chain and second over here. If I'm going towards this, I will get only as a whole this one prefix or substituent. So can you see which is the correct one? This is your correct one. This is your correct one. That is wrong one. So this red one is correct. This red one is correct. This one is correct and green one is wrong. This green one is wrong numbering. So we have to write a special name, special name. What is the correct name, kids? Special name. So definitely the name is going to be 
थ्री मिथाइल फोर ऑक्सो एंड फोर ब्यूटेनोइक एसिड ब्यूटे नोइक एसिड इज दिस पॉइंट क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ योर नॉट डू लेट मी नो बिकॉज दिस इज अ रियली टफेस्ट क्वेश्चन माइंड ब्लोइंग क्वेश्चन इफ दिस इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू डू लेट मी नो इन दी चैट सेक्शन येस दिस इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू जस्ट शो मी दी थम्स अप हे किड्स शो मी दी थम्स अप इफ दिस पॉइंट इज क्लियर टू ईच एंड एवरी वन किड्स डू लेट मी नो इन दी चैट सेक्शन आई वॉन्ट टू सी हरी अप क्विकली Quickly, do let me know if this point is very much clear to all of you. Three methyl, four oxo butanoic acid. Yes, I can see. Kaiser, Gopi Ganesh, everyone is writing. Yes, this is clear to all of you. Clear to all of you. Now, let's move ahead towards ketone. Ketone, the IUPAC name of ketone. See to it. Ketones are very simple. Ketones, ketones are really very simple. Ketones, ketones, ketones. See the smallest ketone is CH3 C double bond O CH3. How to write down its name? One, two, three. So propane on. Either you can write propane two on, or you can simply write propane on, propane on, propane on. But kids, if the question is coming like this, see to it. CH3 C double bond O CH2 C double bond O H. So how many ketonic groups are there? Just try to find out how many ketonic groups are there. Only one ketone because that is being aldehyde. This is aldehyde. It is not ketone. How to find out whether it is aldehyde or ketone? If with this carbonyl group at least one hydrogen is there, we will say it is aldehyde. If both the sides two carbons are there, we will say. This is going to be of ketone. Ketone. So try to find out whether it is ketone or aldehyde. This is being aldehyde, and this is attached with two carbons. So this is going to be ketone. And if we talk about the priority order of functional group, aldehyde has got more preference. Aldehyde has got more preference. So we'll do the numbering from here: one, two, three, four. So this is going to be the prefix. This is going to be the prefix, and this is going to be the secondary suffix. We will say. Three keto, three keto, or we can write oxo because in the NEET examination already they will give you so whatever they can give three keto or oxo, and we are going to write down butanal, butanal. Now kids, let me tell you one mind blowing question. See to it, one mind blowing question. If the question is given like this, C O O H, this is really going to be mind blowing question. C H, C H double bond O, C H, C two H five. Now C O O H. Kids, this is your question. Now kids, see to it. Really, it is what to say. Mind blowing question. This is really mind blowing question. Why it is mind blowing question? I will let you know. See to it. It's going to be mind blowing question. Try to find out which is the correct name. Everyone, try to find out which question is, which is correct name, which one is correct name, which one is correct name. See, I am going to write down two names, first name and second name. A is. I am doing the numbering from this side. For A, I am doing the numbering from this side. One, two, three, four. I am writing two aldo, two aldo, three ethyl, and butane dioic acid. Butane. I can write one four, or I can skip one four. Dioic acid. Now another name. I am going to write down B. For B, for B, I'm going to do the numbering from this side. For this B, I'm going to do the numbering from this side. One, two, three, four. And I'm writing two ethyl, two ethyl, three formyl, three formyl, 
and butane dioic acid butane 14 dioic acid now kids do let me know out of a and b what do you think which is the correct name i want to see whether you are able to understand or not out of this a and b which one is the correct name kids fast fast try to find it out this question if this is going to come in your neat examination let me check it out whether you will be able to give the correct answer or not everyone fast i want to see whether you are able to give the correct answer or not i want to see in the chat section whether you are going to get the correct answer or not kids everyone everyone friends gaming is writing b friends gaming is writing b let me check it out for others anjana ji is writing b farid is writing a shrinath is writing b arjun is writing b kids hey kids really this is really awesome question and let me check it out whose answer is going to be the correct and one more option see one more option i am going to give you one more option i am going to give you check it out check it out kids third option third option is both d option is none none four options i am giving you four options just check it out let me see who is going to get the correct answer a b c d four options i have given you kids now do let me know who is going to get the correct answer kids i am waiting for your answer everyone's answer ashwat is writing a you can change your answer if you want friends gaming is writing none kids now see to it let me give you my answer the answer is both both are equally correct both are equally correct now ask me why both are equally correct ask me why kids ask me why both are equally correct just ask me why both are equally correct just ask me why gopi ganesh is writing a some are writing d and like that see to it this is your secondary suffix kids this is your secondary suffix this is your secondary suffix from either side if i am going to do the numbering i am getting secondary suffix from both the side i'm getting on the same number if i'm doing from that side i'm getting a one number if i'm doing from this side i'm getting one number that means these are just the substituents or prefixes agreed agreed substituents or prefixes i can say substituents or prefixes agreed everyone everyone agreed agreed now already i have told you in the second lecture of iupsc that was of alkane alkene alkyne that we are supposed to write down the names of prefixes in the alphabetical order alphabetical order now if i am writing this to be ethyl and this to be aldo aldo comes first so we'll do the numbering from here see i have used aldo and in aldo a comes first and e comes later on so this is correct if i am doing numbering from here and if i am saying formyl so e comes first and f comes later on so i will do the numbering from this side if i am using e and f it all depends for cho which name we are using if cho's name we are using aldo then this will get preference if cho names we are using formyl then it is starting from f so ethyl will get preference everyone is it clear to all of you are you able to understand or not do let me know everyone just do let me know yeah it will depend its name will depend on the numbering and what alphabet for its name we are using so numbering is decided by the 
name of CHO. So, numbering is decided by numbering is decided by name. What name you are using? If you are using aldo, we will do the numbering from this side. If you are using formyl, we will do the numbering from this side. Those aldo, it's aldo. For aldehyde, we will use aldo. CHO's name is aldo or formyl. Both the names are correct. Aldo and formyl. Those who have got it. If you are able to understand, do let me know in the chat section that yes. Everyone, just do let me know. Are you able to understand it or not, kids? If you are able to understand it, show me the thumbs up. Otherwise, thumbs down. Everyone, do let me know. Let me give you one more question based on this. See to it. If I am provided with compound like this, COOH, CHBR, CH, CHO, and COOH. Now, from which side should I do the numbering? The left hand side numbering is right, or do let me know the right hand side numbering is right, or it will depend. What name for CHO we are going to use? Kids, now see to it. Both the two names are going to be correct. If I am doing the numbering from that side, I will use aldo. So I will write 2 aldo, 3 bromo, and butane dioic acid. Butane dioic acid. Now kids, if I am using formyl, then I will do the numbering from this side. So the name will come out 2 bromo, 3 formyl, butane dioic acid. I hope it is clear to each and everyone that both the two names are correct. Both the two names are exactly correct. So everyone is able to understand. Everyone is able to understand. Now, kids, let me give you one question. Try to solve it. This already we have done. Cyanide. Let me tell you cyanide, then I will give you question. Cyanide. You know cyanide. That is, let me tell you, Cyanide, then I will give you a question, cyanide. For cyanide, secondary suffix name is carbonite, it's only nitrile, nitrile, secondary suffix. Chemical abstract name, chemical abstract name is carbonitrile, carbo, Carbonitrile. Prefix is prefix is cyano. Cyano. Cyano is the prefix. Now let me write down CH3 C triple bond N. So C12. I will use 1, 2. Ethane nitrile. Ethane nitrile. The general name for this compound is acetonitrile, acetonitrile, very famous name, but this is general name, trivial name, general name, or you can say trivial name, trivial name, trivial name, general name, or you can say trivial name. Are you able to understand, kids? Now, see to it, if I am saying, I am provided with compound like this, CH2 CN so from where you are supposed to do the numbering definitely 1 2 3 4 what do you call it four carbon atoms in the parent chain we will write down see to it 
ब्यूटेन नाइट्राइल ब्यूटेन नाइट्राइल दिस इज द आयु पी एस नेम ओनली दिस इज नॉट द नेम इफ आई एम गोइंग टू राइट जर्नल नेम फॉर इट जनरल और थ्री वेल और कॉमन नेम वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू से यू कैन कॉल इट जनरल ट्री वेल और कॉमन नेम्स किट्स इन दैट केस दे कैन यूज लाइक दिस दे कैन यूज लाइक दिस एंड दे विल से प्रोपाइल साइनाइट प्रो पाइल साइनाइट प्रोपाइल साइनाइट सी वन क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्ड इन योर एम्स एग्जामिनेशन सी द wonderful question see this was the question asked in aims exam at that time aims was taking separate exam aims exam see to it what is the name for this compound they are not asking what is the iupac name they are just asking name for this compound name of this compound name this compound name this compound just try to find out kids which is the correct name i am going to give the options i am going to give you the options see first option iso butyro nitrile one name second option i am going to give you isopropyl cyanide isopropyl cyanide now kids third option i am going to give you two methyl let me write down properly two methyl propane nitrile propane nitrile now kids fourth name all of these all of these hey kids <laughs> now just try to find out what is the what is the correct answer let me check it out how much intelligent you people are everyone just do let me know what's your answer two methyl propyl propyl nitrile so everyone everyone i'm waiting for your answer be quick quickly let me know in the chat section what's your correct answer kids i'm waiting for your answer everyone do let me know in the chat section i'm waiting for your answer yes 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 so answer is the correct answer is this one all of these all of these kids all of these is the correct answer let me tell you why how many of you want to understand it now see to it everyone why this is the correct answer see everyone just try to find out this much is known as iso first of all try to find out this much thing if anywhere you find this much thing this means iso right now this is isopropyl isopropyl okay first point we should know this is iso now let me tell you one more thing that is really the most important thing let me tell you suppose if you are having compound like this one compound like this with one valency one compound like this with two valencies either the two valencies can be given like this or the two valencies can be given like this and the third compound with three valencies the three valencies can be given like this or the three valencies can be given like this this is the most important question and if we don't know this thing we won't be able to find out the answer most of the answers of organic chemistry see this is known as monovalent monovalent only one valency is there monovalent monovalent kids this is known as these two are known as divalent because two valencies are empty and these are known as trivalent but these are the valencies kids what you are going to say what the name we have to understand name this is known as 
benzyl or benzyl do remember benzyl or benzyl do remember either you can say benzyl or you can say benzyl these are benzyl benzyl do remember everyone wherever you are sitting say along with me benzyl and these two are known as benzo 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 everyone say along with me benzyl benzyl benzo everyone say benzyl benzyl benzo benzyl benzyl benzo benzyl benzyl benzo benzyl benzyl benzo you must have heard one song in three dates movie behti hawa sa tha wo kaha gaya usse dhoondo yaar hamara tha wo benzyl benzyl benzo 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 if you remember these three things benzyl benzyl benzo you can do any question of organic chemistry organic chemistry is not the thing to cram it just go along with me just try to understand the concept your life will become super awesome kids super awesome benzyl benzyl benzo now see what i am going to try to tell you kids see everyone in the light of this i am going to tell you the most important thing because our focus was this compound ch3 ch ch3 c triple bond n now see this much part is iso for this much part i will write iso and total four carbons this was having only three carbons so i wrote isopropyl but here total carbons are four total carbons is equal to four four carbons so four carbons but iso but now see kids three valencies are left three valencies if one valency see let me explain it in more detail suppose if i am having compound like this ch3 ch ch2 ch3 i will write iso butyl iso butyl if i am if i am having compound like this ch3 ch ch3 ch double bond i will write iso divalent al iso butyl butyl but we are having three valencies so i will write iso butyro butyro o o three valencies iso butyro and this has to be nitrile so its name is iso butyro nitrile are you able to understand iso butyro nitrile so that's why we used to say this compound see try to understand you must have seen this compound what do you call it you must know this compound you must know this compound also this compound also you know all the two compounds kids what i am telling you so we call it benzyl benzyl see ben zaldehyde you must have heard this name 100 times now you can correlate benzyl divalency see divalent divalent al al benzyl this much is benzyl i have told you this is benzyl are you able to understand this is benzyl and this is benzo that's why its name is benzo nitrile or you can say benzo nitrile or you can say cyano benzene cyano benzene cyano benzene or you can say phenyl cyanide phenyl cyanide i hope you are able to understand it now let's move towards our question our question was this what is the correct name for this compound it has been asked so see to it clearly kids 
if I write, if I take only this much, if I take only this much, I will say isopropyl, isopropyl, and that part I will say cyanide, cyanide, right? Now, if I take only this much part, C to it, CH3, CH, CH3, C triple bond, N, if I consider this much part, I will say isobutyro, isobutyro, and this I will write, I will write nitrile, nitrile, and if I take, if I consider this for the IUPAC nomenclature CH3, C triple bond N, I will say 1, 2, 3, this is prefix, 2 methyl propane nitrile, propane nitrile, now C to it kids, all the names are correct. The question was not what is the IUPAC name. The question was simply like this. The question was simply like this. What is the correct name for this compound? There was not mentioned the IUPAC name. Name this compound kids. I think this is clear to all of you. I think you are able to understand it. Kids, do let me know if this is clear. I'm very proud to say I'm CBC. This live stream is Achievers Batch. Yes, this is Achievers Batch, beta. Whatever we are teaching on YouTube, that is Achievers Batch. Whatever I'm teaching over here, this is Achievers Batch, which is you are getting for free. This is Achievers Batch. Kids, do let me know. All of these are correct. Isobutyro, butyro nitrile, isopropyl cyanide, 2 methyl propane nitrile. If you got it, if my efforts are working, if you are able to understand kids, do let me know that. Till now it's clear to all of you so that I can move ahead, so that I can tell you more some compounds, kids, so that I can complete all the functional groups. Yeah, right now it's it is going to start on 25th kids. On huge public demand, we have extended it for a few days. So kids, just do let me know. This is clear to all of you. If it is clear, just show me the thumbs up. I want to see the thumbs up, kids. If you're liking the concept, if you're liking each and everything, do let me know in the chat section that yes, I want to see some fire. I want to see some fire in the chat section, kids. I want to see the Josh. So that I can let you know each and everything, kids. I want to see the Josh. So I was telling you these things. Let me give you one question. Hey, here is the question. And I can say, none of the option is correct. Out of these four, none of the option is correct. This is a question of 2002. I think there is some misprinting. But try to find out. Let me, can you see this question on the screen? Is it visible to all of you? If yes, do let me know what should be the correct answer. Let me draw it by myself. CH3, CH, CH2, CH3, then CH2, then CH, CN, then CH3. Kids, what's your Second is suffix, definitely cyanide is your second is suffix. So I'm supposed to give number one to this, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. So this is my parent chain. Can you see kids? This is your parent chain. 
my parent chain your parent chain both means same this is our parent chain kids this is our parent chain kids see to it this is the parent chain so this methyl is left this methyl is left so i would like to say that on second carbon and fourth carbon so 2 comma 4 di methyl 2 comma 4 di methyl and hexane nitrile hexane nitrile i don't think any option is given like this nowhere it's given nitrile so this is the correct answer none of them is the correct answer you got it now see to it Sino they have given this is wrong answer because it can't be Sino this can't be Sino Sino is the prefix and this is going to be the secondary suffix wrong name so another question see this is alkanoyl halide let me first tell you what are alkanoyl halide then you can solve this question let me first tell you what is alkanoyl halide then only you can solve this question see to it kids alkanoyl halide Alkanoyl halide. Alkanoyl halide can be characterized by like this R C O X. It can be written like this, or simply they can give you R C O X, where X is equal to halogen. 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 Now, how to write down its IUPAC name, kids? Its secondary suffix is oil halide. So we'll write LK noil halide. LK noil halide. Do remember? Everyone say along with me. LK noil halide. Oil halide. Oil halide is the secondary suffix. Its prefix is. Its prefix is hello. Hello for mile. It's really interesting. Hello for mile. Hello. Hello, not hi. It's only hello. Hello for mile. And its chemical abstract name is, kids, its chemical abstract name is what? Carbonyl halide. Carbonyl halide. Carbonyl. Carbonyl halide. Let me tell you each and everything one by one. See to it, kids. If I am provided with compound like this, CH3, COCl, very famous compound, very famous compound. Its general name is, its general name, if I say, its general name is acetyl chloride, acetyl chloride. It will come again and again on a syllabus. Now see to it, what is IUPAC name? One, two. So two carbons. For two carbons, I'm supposed to write eth. Eth. Ethanoyl. Ethanoyl chloride. Ethanoyl chloride. Now suppose if the question is given like this, CH3. CH2, CH2, CO, Cl. What do you say, kids? Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4. Butanoyl, butanoyl chloride, chloride. Now, suppose if any group which is more senior to this group is given in the ionic compound, this will be treated as prefix. See to it. How it will come? Suppose if the question is given like this, CH3, CH2, CH, C double bond O, Cl, CH2, C double bond O, Cl. Let me write down C O O H. So who is senior group? Kids, this is senior group, so treated as secondary suffix, senior most. I have told you the prefix series and this is acting as prefix substituent, substituent, branch or we can say prefix. 
So how to do the numbering first? First thing always select the parent chain. Once your parent chain is correct, remember that this is going to be a parent chain. This is going to be a parent chain because you can't go like this. If you're going toward this side, that is the mistake. To remember, never do this mistake. This is secondary suffix. Once if you have selected this, never cover, come toward this side. One, two, three, four, five. So what we are going to write, kids, we will write three chloroformyl, chloroformyl, three chloroformyl and pantenoic acid. Pantenoic acid. I hope this point is very much clear to all of you. Now, where to use chemical abstract name? Suppose if I am provided with compound like this, COCl, no benzene is over there. See what I am going to write, cyclohexane carbonyl chloride, carbonyl chloride, chloride. Now suppose if benzene is given over there, if benzene is given over there, so it will have two names, CO, CL. Either to you can say benzoyl chloride, benzoyl chloride, benzoyl chloride, or you can call it benzene carbonyl chloride, or you can say benzene carbonyl chloride, carbonyl chloride, benzene carbonyl chloride. Both the two names are exactly correct. Now let me, kids, let me show you that question. Yes, here is the question. Now do let me know what answer you are going to get. Kids, are you able to see the question? If question is clearly visible, do let me know. Let me write down, this is the bond line notation given over here. This is given as bond line notation. Let me write down simple conversion like this, CH3, CH3, CH2, CH2, CHCH3, CHCH3 then CHCH3, CHCH3, then COCL, COCL. Do let me know what's the correct answer, kids. Everyone, I have given you both the two ways. Do let me know in the chat section. Friends Gaming is writing four. Yoga Priya Dialogy is writing four. Everyone is going for four. So let me check it out, what's the correct answer? One, two, three, four, five. So two, three, dimethyl and pentanoyl chloride. Pentanoyl chloride. Now let's see to it where it is given. Two, three, dimethyl pentanoyl. Really awesome. Salute. Those who have given the correct answer, do let me know. Do let me know in the chat section whose answer. Those who have given the correct answer, show me the thumbs up. If your answer was wrong, just show me thumbs down. Clearly good. Everyone, just do let me know. Yes. Welcome. Congratulations. Now, let me see another question. Yeah, here is another question. Can you see the question? Really awesome question, simple question. Yes, these classes are really going to give you the best rank in your examination. You can see very clearly, kids, I'm telling you each and everything from the very basic, and I'm not going to skip even a single word. Yes, categorically, I'm telling you, I will let you know each and everything, kids. Have faith you will get the best rank. You, even you can get the first rank if you go through all these questions 
concepts which I am telling you kids. You can see these concepts you are not going to get in one book. Even NCRT is going to give you a number of questions, but concept, all the questions, all the concepts, whether I am talking about Morrison Biont, L.G. Wode, I.L. Pinar, Peter Sykes, each and everything is in my brain. And I'm just going to give you those things which are required for the best rank, even for the first rank. I'm nothing telling you, telling you out of syllabus. I'm just telling you whatever is required for the first rank, kids. Yeah, PDF I will share. Kids, definitely PDF I will share. Today I will give you all the PDF. Don't worry. Definitely I will provide the PDF. But let me know what's the answer of this question. Yoga Priya ji is writing one. Okay, let me check it out. CH ray. C, CL, double bond, C, I, CH2, CH3. Whenever ethyl is given, always break this ethyl into CH2 and CH3. Always break down this ethyl. Now, we'll do the numbering from this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, 2-chloro, 3-iodo, 2-chloro, 3-iodo, and pent 2 in 2-chloro, 3-iodo, 3-pentane. So this is correct, but the best name should be 2-chloro, 3-iodo, pent 3-in. The 3 must be lie in between. So out of these four options, definitely this is going to be the correct answer. Uh, 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 I think some mistake is done. 2-chloro, 3-iodo, 3-pentane. See, those who have given second answer, there is 3-pentane. Can you see? This is wrong. Pent 3-in or pent 2-in? It is pent 3-in or pent 2-in. Those who have given 3-in, see to it, this double bond is placed on 2 and 3 both. But who is coming earlier? This 3 is coming later on. This 3 is coming later on and 2 is coming earlier. So what we are supposed to write, this is the common mistake sometimes done by most of the students don't do this mistake. So kids, this is on second position. So write down two, always write down two. So where it's written two kids, two pantene. You got it? Really, it was simple question, but these simple questions, sometimes we are doing silly mistakes. Question is simple, question is simple. But we have got negative marks. Question is simple. But then also, although the question was simple, but then also we got negative marks. Question is simple. But can give you negative marks. Negative marks, kids. So do remember, do it clearly. Whenever the question given is simple, Always pay proper attention to that question. Otherwise, you will get negative marks. Yeah, daily classes you are going to get. Gopika ji, daily classes you are going to get. But let me know in the chat section that are you able to understand it? Everyone do let me know. Everyone is able to understand it. Yes, another question. Another question. See to it. What is the question? Question is like this. CH3, CH double bond, C, CH3, CH, CH3, OH. Either you can write it down this, or you can break this compound and write it down Completely, you can write it like this, CH3, CH double bond, C, CH3, 
CHCH3 and OH or you can write it like this CH CH3 OH this or this or this all three mean same now kids which one you find easy for your writing answer so I think this is easiest one OH is the secondary suffix and one two three four five so three methyl three methyl three methyl anywhere it's given three methyl only in three methyl pent three in two all all the options you can see very clearly which one is matching this is wrong one two dimethyl is wrong kids those who are writing first is the correct answer those who are writing first to be the correct answer that is wrong 3 methyl only this is going to be the correct answer i think see 3 methyl pent 3 n n it's absolutely correct and 2 all so let me check it out this is your correct answer those who have got those who have got the correct answer do let me know with the thumbs up if your answer is going to be the correct I want to see with the thumbs up. If your answer is wrong, show me thumbs down. One more question. Cyclic compound. See, this is cyclic compound. Really awesome compound. Do let me know, kids, how to do it. Let me draw it clearly. Then I will let you know how to do this question. Here double bond. Here OH. And here CH3 kids. So this OH is senior most secondary suffix. We have to start from here and then we have to see double bond two, three, four. So four methyl, four methyl. So this can't be the correct answer. This can't be the correct answer. Four methyl cyclobut two in cyclobut two in. This is going to be the correct answer. Everyone do let me know. Everyone do let me know. Is this the correct answer? If you have got this to be the correct answer. So really congratulations to all of you. Now one more question. One more question. And I've told you how to do this question. Kids, do let me know how to do it. See, this is COH. COOH. CH2. CH2. CH double bond C OH and CH3 you can see very clearly the COH just five minutes five minutes I will complete it two three four five how will you write hydroxy hydroxy four hydroxy that means four hydroxy This is pent, pent, then 3N, pent 3N, and one oic acid. 4 hydroxy pent 3N, one oic acid. What do you think which is the correct answer for it? 4 hydroxy, 4 hydroxy, 3 pentenoic acid. So I think your answer is correct. Everyone, this is the correct answer. See, this is the correct answer. Either you can write like this or you can write like this. This is the correct answer. So, it's up. Each and everything I have told you, kids. Now, one last lecture of IUPAC I will take. That is IUPAC of cyclic compounds. Tomorrow, same time, that is 11 a.m., I think this time is okay. So those who have not subscribed the channel till now, please, it's your channel, subscribe it. And if you are our old students, hit the like buttons. Everyone, this is your channel. And myself, Harin Singh Parhyar, and 
this is your channel only kids an academy neat english channel so just share it to each and every one to all your friends so that everyone can get benefited and just you know sharing is caring and if you're sharing it to others if you're helping others god is going to help you a lot and my dear friends this session was really really very important it holds a hell lot of weightage for your coming neat examination and many times students ask how many marks we will get from this chapter kids this is the basic if examiner is asking any question like how will you convert this into that or what you are going to obtain from this so we should know direct or indirectly it is the basic it is the basic skeleton of organic chemistry so we have to we should know this chapter very well otherwise we won't be able to do anything kids definitely we'll meet you tomorrow so gopal sri is asking sir the only school module are required for aims or any other no kids this channel is going to give you each and everything i will let you know each and everything whatever is required for your examination to get the best rank in neat just follow these notes i am going to tell you each and everything from the very basic you have seen that i have told you i'm i'm telling you each and everything in the sequence order i'm not going to skip even a single word so what i'm saying i will take one more lecture of iupsc in that lecture i am going to tell you the cyclic compounds iupsc name how much will come from the bicyclo spiro or aromatic compounds or simple cyclic compound monocyclic compound and how to do the numbering of epoxide you know epoxide ethers they are very reactive how to do the iupsc name of those compounds so i will require one more lecture that is tomorrow so don't forget about it okay all the best meet you very soon tomorrow 11 am okay bye to all of you and 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 one question for your homework let me tell you one question for your homework see to it kids C H O only one question I am going to give you C O O H find out the I U P A C name of this compound I U P A C name this is simply C H O C O H today I am going to give you only one question C H O C O H okay only one question I want to see answer of this question in the comment section once this video is over. do let me know in the comment section what's the answer of this question okay stay tuned